Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna stay focused on the Bitcoin price action and we're also gonna discuss why we could see one last mega rally towards our bullish targets and then maybe see a big big sell-off and you definitely want to take profits before we're starting a potential sell-off so we're gonna have a look into some very important indicators that could suggest that right now we are about to see this mega rally towards our 75 to 100k targets before maybe we're gonna start a huge correction so first off here in the lower time frames, you can see that Bitcoin after having these two fake outs here to the upside from the symmetrical triangle that we covered yesterday is now breaking out to the downside. So that is exactly the reason why usually I don't like to trade on the weekends because very often we are seeing the price moves like that with some fake outs and then of course also with some fake breakouts for example the one that we are seeing right now in my opinion is a fake out because the measured target from this breakout here to the downside would take us way below our main support that we currently have here of fifty-five thousand dollar so what we are seeing right now in my opinion is just some weekend action and we should more give significance to the cme chart which is still looking very bullish and here we are expecting a potential big breakout to the upside which could even lead into prices here towards 70 to 80 thousand dollar and then of course here we need to see if we we're able to break the resistance up here from this rising wedge that we are in here in the daily time frame or not because if here we are getting Getting rejected there is still the chance that we could fall again towards our main support so this breakout that we are seeing right now from this symmetrical triangle in my opinion is a fake out it's just some weakened price action that we are seeing very often and most of the times we are just coming back where we close the CMEs on Friday so that's why as long as we are trading above $55,000 and we are also able to close the daily candles above this important price level I'm still confident that we're gonna see here continuation to the upside even though things are starting to look very very critical here at this point since we are touching a very important support area and if this is getting lost then things could start to look very ugly because in that case our targets are somewhere around thirty thousand dollar which is about a 50 percent sell-off from the prices that we are seeing right now so in the three hour time frame this is usually the time frame that we are trading also here in my own indicator as you can see we got here a sell signal up here and uh, then we had here this huge correction and right now we are back in a downtrend in the three hour time frame we could get a buy signal very soon but money flow is currently negative and although we're trading below the ema ribbons so before you're entering again into a long position my friends i would wait until at least the money flow is turning again into green and once we are also trading again above the ema ribbons so i wouldn't open up necessarily right now a long position we are still in a very critical point here but i'm still confident that as soon as the cmes are going to start again that we will be again back above fifty-eight thousand dollar, and we should then see here a massive breakout to the upside and also take out this all-time high that we had here of sixty-two thousand dollar. and also if we break it down to the 15 minute time frame which we are also trading here in my own indicator over on discord you can see that we also have right now a bullish divergence here in the rsi so that means that most likely here very very soon we're gonna see another attempt to go again towards $58,000 and then most likely once the CMEs are gonna open again we will be again at those levels so it's up to you if you want to already now open up a long position before we're getting a buy signal because most likely we're gonna retrace back to this level where we close the CMEs on Friday and then of course you would be sitting in a very nice long entry if we are able to then of course also go higher in my opinion we will see a mega rally before we're gonna lose here this support that we have currently here of around fifty-five thousand dollars from our rising wedge we can also go over into the daily time frame yet because you can see it more clearer here that we are having this support right here currently at fifty-five thousand dollars and the resistance would be up here at around seventy two thousand dollars 
So as long as we are trading within this rising wedge, the price will move between these two price levels. Until then, of course, we're going to see a breakout to the upside or to the downside. It is a bearish pattern, but that, of course, doesn't mean that we have to break out to the downside. There is also a chance that we are able to break higher here. And then, of course, we could be in a very hot zone where we maybe should take some profits here because sometimes we are also seeing fake outs before then the actual real breakout. So that means that we maybe could even break out here to the upside, then stay a couple of days up here and then immediately come back down, retest support and then maybe even lose it and then see here the play out of this rising wedge. So as long as we are not seeing daily candles closing below or above these important two trend lines, we are most likely going to stay within this pattern for quite some time. And since we also have some indicators that are suggesting that the local top could be close here, and we're gonna see very soon a sell-off maybe one last big washout before then we're going completely parabolic way above 100k and also stay above 100k I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to be mentally ready to take out some profits if here we're gonna see a big acceleration in this rally and we're going completely parabolic like we also have seen in the last couple of bull markets that Bitcoin at the end of a big parabolic rise up always goes completely crazy and then it's always good to take some profits at the end of this uh, bull market. That doesn't mean that afterwards we're gonna see a multi-year bear market but at least there is a very high chance that we're gonna see a massive correction and you definitely want to have some cash on the sideline to buy the dip especially if you're all in in bitcoin like i am right now so so far i never took out any profits i have always some cash on the sideline to buy the dip if something crazy is going to happen but if i see some indicators flashing a big sell signal i definitely gonna take at least 20 to 40 percent in profits just to be ready to buy the dip and also to rebalance my invested portfolio and also the cash that I have on the sideline. Because if Bitcoin right now would go towards 75 to 100K, the value that I have in Bitcoin will be way, way higher than the value that I have in cash. And that's why I want to balance again my invested money and of course also my cash. So whatever happens, I can be very flexible and buy the dip if such a washout is happening. And at the same time, if we just continue to moon here towards targets way above half a million dollar per Bitcoin, I also will be fine because I will never sell all my Bitcoin. I will always keep a lot of Bitcoin because I know long term it will go higher and higher. So it makes only sense to take out some profits when we are going completely parabolic to the upside just to be ready to accumulate more if there are signs that we could see a massive sell off that we maybe could enter into a short term bear market maybe and then accumulate more once we are cooling off all the indicators and also we are testing important supports that we have way below of us especially if right now we would see a very accelerated rally here towards 75 to 100k so as long as we are not seeing here a clear breakout out of this rising wedge, I still think that we could see this mega rally here before we're gonna break out here to the downside, maybe even break out first to the upside and then crash down. But as long as there are no confirmations, I wouldn't make big steps right now, even though the lower time frames are cooling off now and we are touching very critical points down here. So the lower time frames is actually good that we are cooling off because if we're gonna see here a big pump and also take out here the $62,000 then we have a lot of room left to the upside since we cooled off here completely all the lower time frames and as you can see also in the daily time frame here we are still above the 20 daily moving average right here at $55,000 exactly where our main support is lining up so as long as we're closing daily candles above the 20 daily everything is still okay and we should expect a continuation to the upside and the big support right here only if we would start to close daily candles below and then also confirm it as a resistance then I think we could see here a massive sell-off before we are gonna see here a parabolic move towards 75 to 100k but this is only valid here for the spot chart if we have a look here into the CME chart you can see that here we are still very bullish we are about to break out here to the upside and the target would be up here at around 72,000 dollar 
and as I told you also in yesterday's video here we never closed a daily candle below the 9 daily moving average so as soon as the CMEs are gonna start again I think the breakout here is imminent hopefully it will be to the upside in my opinion it will be to the upside but of course if we're gonna open up the CMEs here below the support that we have here at around $58,000 then things could change here a bit because in that case here on the CME chart we could already start the breakout to the downside here and that of course is very bearish because the target would be at least down here at around thirty thousand dollar in my opinion here where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up at thirty four thousand dollar we should have already some very strong support but there is also a high chance that maybe we could even wick a bit lower but then finally close weekly candles above this important support here at the 20 weekly moving average but anyway if we're gonna see a daily close in the spot chart or in the cme chart below our main support or even worse below our 20 daily moving average this will lead into a massive correction to the downside in my opinion and therefore it wouldn't be a bad idea to take some profits as soon as we are seeing this confirmation up here just to rebuy the dip if we're gonna crash towards 30 K. But this is just a worst case scenario if from here on we will not see continuation to the upside. If here we are seeing the local top and we're gonna start the sell off, then this is what we need to watch here the 20 daily moving average and of course the daily closes. But since we had a very bullish daily close here on the CMEs, I'm pretty confident that here we're going to see continuation to the upside. And of course, the same goes also here for the spot chart. Also with this breakout that we had out of this symmetrical triangle, you can see that of course right now we're still seeing this breakout. We are confirming here in the one hour time frame that this is new resistance. But as long as we are trading above $55,000, everything is okay. And we should expect here a very fast recovery straight back above $55,000. $58,000. So I know we are in a very critical point, but I still think that we're gonna see our one last big parabolic move towards our bullish targets before we're gonna break out here to the downside. I don't think that this is the local top before we're gonna see a big washout and then gear up for a massive rally towards 100k and higher. In my opinion, we will see this one last push to the upside towards our bullish targets. And since we are cooling off now all indicators, we would have enough fuel left to see some more days and weeks here going completely parabolic. And then comes the time where we have to check our important cycle top indicators because as soon as all of them are flashing to sell, then in my opinion, it's the time to take some profits just to be prepared to buy in again if we're gonna see a massive sell off and the top indicators are first this one over here the p cycle bitcoin top indicator this one is also coming very very close to the price action always when this moving average up here is coming into the actual price action then this indicator is telling you to take profits because most likely we are in a cycle top so this is the first indicator that i'm watching and it's coming very very close and very fast down to the price action. So I'm expecting this moving average, so this indicator to play out within maybe 10 to 20 days. If Bitcoin is gonna stay here trading sideways or maybe even start to go completely parabolic to the upside. We have seen this many times in the past and in my opinion, it will also happen with this cycle, with this bull market that towards the end of this rally, we are gonna see the price going completely parabolic to the upside before then we are gonna top out and then of course start a big sell off. So this is one indicator that I'm keeping an eye on and the other one of course is here, the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curves and zones because also here, once we are entering in this red zone, this always signaled also in the past that here you should consider to take profits and in this hot red zone we could see a local top and then a massive correction down towards important supports. Most of the times we recover back down towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is here at 27,000 dollar or towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is here at around 34,000 dollar right in this yellow zone. So if we're gonna see here a parabolic move to the upside and both indicators are flashing that we could see a cycle top up here between 75 to 100,000 dollar, 
then this is the place where I definitely gonna take some profits out and most likely gonna accumulate all the Bitcoin that I'm selling up here, here towards the 20 weekly moving average and of course also down towards the 200 daily moving average here at $27,000. So this in my opinion would be then the next entry to watch here between the 200 daily moving average and the 20 weekly moving average. So these two important moving averages in my opinion will be then a good buy entry if you're taking out profits if we're gonna see here a massive run up towards this red zone. So those two indicators in my opinion will tell us where we could see a local top to take some profits out just to rebuy back into Bitcoin once we're gonna see a massive sell-off so we can accumulate more and more Bitcoin and then of course for the long term be ready once we are hitting 100k and go way higher because long term we are very bullish even though here short to mid term we could see one last sell-off one last washout that's why in my opinion it wouldn't be a bad idea to take out some profits once we are having these sell signals flashing. But as long as we're not seeing those signals turning into red, that means that as long as we're not entering in this red zone and we are also not getting a sell signal in the P-cycle indicator, I think it's better to just wait and be patient because as long as we're not seeing these indicators flashing, I think we can stay for some more days within this rising wedge, maybe even have one last big parabolic pump towards this red zone and then maybe start a correction to the downside. In my opinion, right now taking profits here at 55 to 60K, it's not really worth the risk, even though we could drop towards $35,000. But in my opinion, it's not worth the risk to sell right now just to hope that it's maybe going down to $35,000 because anyway, for the long term, we will go way above 100K and here we have right now the chance to see one last parabolic pump towards these targets and if you're reaching 75 to 100K, then this is, I think, a good place to take profits because if from 100K we're falling down towards 34 or maybe even towards $27,000, then you can really accumulate a lot of more Bitcoin if you're taking up here some profits. So let me know in the comment section, my friends, what do you think? Do we see one less big parabolic pump here before maybe we start a huge sell-off, a huge correction and then accumulate more Bitcoin? Or was this the top here at $62,000 and we're going to start the big crash right now let me know in the comment section what are you thinking in my opinion we're gonna see first here one last big parabolic pump before we start any kind of bigger correction so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and if you need an account over on bybit famex and so on where you can trade bitcoin ethereum and so on with leverage then use my referral links down below here because with my links you will get some extra money and of course also you support the channel and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage then try out prime xpt because here we have this special co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other successful traders so use the link also down below here and you will get also these uh, coupon codes where you can get some extra deposit money and you will have 25 percent of the fees so check them out down below here and for all newcomers make sure that you have a swiss Borg binance and coinbase account opened if you don't have it then make sure to use my referral links down below here because with them you also will get some extra money with your first purchase and also those are all the exchanges that i recommend and that i'm also using so before we're gonna wrap this up my friends a big shout out to our great discord trading chat we have a very great crypto community over here so if you want to join our discord trading chat make sure to use the official link down below here in the video description with this link you can click it and you have free access to the chat you just have to go here to read first and then click here on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot and like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get access to my live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then a small donation is needed. You can contact me here directly on Discord if you want to get access. And otherwise, you can also use here the membership options directly here on YouTube to access to the live stream indicator. So thank you very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye!